it's like traps only one explosive track trap we see the the eagle horn bow so a lot of variety going on and now we are ready we're good to go let's head into the game there we go hunter versus hunter and well what that didn't work out Did it? No. Just full screen. Let, let's do it again. Well, Kai, Kai destroyed everything. I did again. So, that looks li like li it. life production is getting late. We're messing it up way it's too often. It's not working. I'm going to close it again completely. Damn it! So, uh, I guess I guess you shouldn't serve in the internet while casting a show. That Should, could I shouldn't read the Twitch chat? You you shouldn't shouldn't uh, do do stuff that disturbs your concentration. Well, just start your game manually, and we just see if we can make it yep. happen. There we go. See, the macro wasn't working. Good job, sir. And it's <laughs> Voria. Team was fault. It's Voria versus Hunter here. And well, we said it before. In my opinion, Voria has a slight advantage, but Hunter is absolutely strong deck. Especially, well, I would say the version here with Direwolf Alphas. But still, Number Guy has a good hand here, especially that Fiery War Axe. Helps him a lot, but he also has uh, two dead cards for the early game. Black Knight and Gedon. That hurts, and you really don't want to have him. At least not that early. At least not that early, that's true. Croclisk is coming out. Hmm. And what will Vortex do now? Oh, he draws a brawl. It's, it's it's obvious that he's gonna go for the Fury War X. Well, he, he kind of needs to. If if you see that, if you see that River Crocolis, you want to kill it instantly before he actually goes for the. Houndmaster Crocolis, and well, there's a Beast Mode Crocolis incoming, and that's gonna be super annoying. Shield block. Well, you're not going to play shield block. No, no, without like having the value of shield slam. Absolutely. Yeah, and the only option, more or less, he had was tracking. And he gets a hyena, hy <laughs> high main, and owl, and chooses obviously to cover the high main here. The hyenas are more or less useless against a hunter, uh, against a warrior in this stage of the game, since well, you play it, it gets weaponed. You play it, it gets shield slammed. But the high main is still that six five beast being super annoying. Yeah, and it's not only six five. The death rattle obviously spawns a two, two two minions, for you, and it most of the time it also forces one of those executes. That's true. We see here now. Well, Vortex number guy being 0-0. Zero, zero. I guess Vortex really wants to win for PKD, but as <laughs> number guy wants to, both teams are 1-1 one, one at the moment. Who's going to be the one pulling on the win here? And, well, Vortex hand is not looking bad, but playing the Kodo here without any value. So you really want to play it when you see an Armor Smith, for example. When you see... Acolyte of Pain. Acolyte of Pain. You, you want to kill those, and you... There, there are out there. He hasn't drawn one by now. Well, now he has drawn one, and he's most likely going to play it. And then Kodo has some value. So Vortex, pretty lucky that he didn't play his Kodo l last turn. And we also see it's one of those Sunshine Hunters that runs Dire Wolf Alphas instead of Timberwolves. I think the version is even more interesting since you can lie it down turn two and actually have a valuable minion. But if you play a Timber Wolf, you cannot. You, you're not going to put it down turn one because it dies to too many things. Yeah, and the problem is, I think after the patch hit, it's more likely to go Timber Wolf again, since this is pre-patch, as you can see with the Unleash the Hound two mana. You you can go for the Timber Wolf uh, for the Dire Wolf Alpha. But if you go Dire Wolf Alpha with a three mana. Unleash, you just delay yourself even harder. So as you said here, 
I can, I can see what you mean that there might be not so many Direwolf Alpha Sunshine Hunters anymore. There is the Acolyte of Painting coming, and he, he funnily actually here pl plays the Taskmaster to prevent it from getting Kodoed. But still, now the Taskmaster is getting Kodoed, he can just trade with the Acolyte of Pain, and it looks good again for Vortex. Do you think he's gonna Kodo, or... Yeah, yeah of course he's... No, he's going to Unleash. And he's hoping for a Timberwolf, so he can just trade those minions easy life. Trekking into... But e like even if you're trekking now a Timberwolf, you're not... Oh, it was two oh. Timberwolves you're most likely going to pick it. But it's super <laughs> annoying. Now your Timberwolves are gone. And, well, as you know, if there's a Whirlwind coming now, all your Timberwolves are absolutely gone. And he doesn't even need to Whirlwind. He can, he can just go get it. Or in Geddon has the craziest value of all time. Well, Geddon always has crazy value. If you play it against a Shaman, if you play him against a Hunter, if you play him against a Zulok, that Geddon is just a beast. He can also just whirlwind and kill off the single ones with stuff in his hand. But Geddon <laughs> is just <laughs> too easy. It indeed is. Well, that's not looking super good for Vortex. I mean, he has a Deadly Shot, yes, and a Huffer. Well, he's using Kill Command. And Kill Command is better than a Deadly Shot. So don't listen to me, kids. Don't try this at home. Don't use your Deadly Shot like I said. Really? Yeah, you can. But only in the Control Warrior meta, because you can use the Deadly Shot against the Alex, against the Gromash, and against the Ragnaros, right? Well, it's just simple math, in my opinion. You can kill a 5 HP minion with a Kill Command, but you can kill an 8 HP minion with a Deadly Shot. So you should absolutely use it rather for... Ragnaros, Grimash, as you said, Alexstrasza. But then again, you can't use the, the deadly shot to nuke your opponent. Absolutely true. But somehow, you, you gotta make your move. And I guess that one was a better one here. Well, now he can use his second kill command <laughs> to kill Krakon Elite. Uh, because you really don't want to use a deadly shot here. Or he just goes on a card drawing streak with Buzzard, Unleash, Kodo. For example, just to draw two cards and kill him with a Hunter's Mark. I wouldn't say that's beautiful. I would just say, well, that's two cards and it works. And he has to yeah, try to kill him ASAP because yeah, the Control Warrior only gets stronger. And after the second buzzer phase, he won't survive this turn, obviously. There is no card draw left for him. Oh, it's Stone Tusk Boar. That's interesting. So he doesn't even need to play his Kodo for another card. I was just saying Kodo because I want him to oh, wow. draw two cards instead of one card. And that would be absolutely better. Now he just drew even more <laughs> and cooler cards. And can deal three damage. And that's a really nice board he has here. Even though it dies to a whirlwind execute weapon or just to a brawl, for example. Still, well played. That's definitely true. Would, would you go for Brawl now? Because you know the Unleashes are gone. If you go for Brawl, you can just finish the leftover one with your weapon and still armor up. So good play here. If you don't go Brawl, you need to go like... Whirlwind Black Knight Execute to clear the board. And then you can still coin armor up. That's another play you can also do. I personally would go for the brawl because you never know if you get another chance for a good brawl. Your enemy only has four cards left. You saw Savannah Hymane, that's that. You haven't seen a second one by now. So a good brawl target it would be. But if he values his... I mean, th the advantage with brawl is you just need brawl and a weapon. Everything is clear. But... If you try it different, you need more and more stuff. And he actually does the perfect brawl for him. So the 2-1 survives. He just goes for Taskmaster, vaporizes it. And wow, it's super good for him. Yeah, number guy definitely has the advantage. 
if he, if he goes for the if he goes for the Taskmaster, I mean, there's still the possibility that he chooses to go for Fury War X. Now, the the possibility is just not there. I would say the only possible play was the Taskmaster. He did it here, perfect. He didn't take any damage. He needs to watch out to not drop too low. I mean, he can still lose to annoying stuff. Good thing is he has the Fury Warix. He didn't show it to him, so Vortex is not predicting it. He's like, yeah, there's no Fury Warix incoming. Well, and now his hyena is going to get smashed into pieces. Hmm. Would you smash it into pieces? <laughs> I would most definitely completely demolish it. Well, it's, it's the most likely play, and he can also drop his Harrison Jones, for example, to just oppose a 5-4 minion on the board, combined with... Uh, well, or just execute. Well, everything possible. I would say he should coin out his Harrison still, since... Well, it's a 5-4 minion. It's strong. It, it could kill a Savannah high main. That's a good thing about Harrison. And I'm not expecting a bow. And even if he has a bow, he still needs to kill that Harrison. And, well, 4 HP. Not gonna get killed easy. Yep. And there comes the Harrison Jones. But the warrior is also low on cards. And he has no direct trigger for Gromash now. Well, low on cards, but you... Most of, most of the times you do not need a Grimash to deal those 10 damage. Against a Hunter you can just use him for charge in, kill a minion, B10 attack, scary. <laughs> <laughs> and your enemy either kills him with a kill command, but as you said, if you kill something with a kill command, that's lesser burst damage in the face and good for you, yourself, and yourself. And, whoa, Grimash is a 4 and 9 minion, so he sustains quite a lot. Yeah. He's considerably beefy. So, Vortex considers here to ping, and I would just say end his turn. Uh, he's on 24 HP, so he, he doesn't need to be super fearful here, and he's calculating four cards left. One is the Deroy. I got a kill command in my hand. I just need a beast, and then he can still win if he gets a beast. If he gets the damage out, that's correctly. Right now, he has nine damage on the board. So even Vortex is sort of in trouble. Nine and he damage. doesn't really want to deadly shot now because it's a game of chances. That's the first thing. And he knows there are still big threats coming like Gromash, like Alex Strada or Ragnaros. And even if you deadly shot Harrison Jones away, there's still that armor smith running. Well, an armor smith is even more annoying than Harrison <laughs> actually since she's going to be like, Yay, armor, armor, whirlwind, please, harder, faster. So, she's going to provide you with a lot of beefiness if she stays alive. Yeah, and since this match was played pre-patch, there's no timer and Vortex has all the time in the world. And he takes it. He takes his time. This is what we quoted before. It's better to have time limits since players have to sing faster, have to train their skills in... Well, getting their stuff faster done. I mean, even in... Well, even in... In Magic, there is a time limit too. In every card game, there's actually a time limit for it turns to not make it go infinite. And that's good. Definitely is. And he uses his Alex. After we saw the kill shot, now everything is going quite fast. So, 9 damage on the board. Grimash in his hand with a Black Knight at the moment. But he may draw something super useful. Got his uh, Gorhal here. Ooh, can he actually kill? Nope. Would you equip Gorhal now and attack him? Most likely not. Would I equip Gorhal now? Well, you, you. Or I, I would go for Gromash armor up and kill one of the small minions to make to yeah let him enrage and also get another armor from the armor smith. That's kind of what you need to do. Uh, since you don't want to take more damage. I mean, you're down to 14, you're down to 15 with the Grimash attack. You cannot afford going even further down. That, that's kind of risky. I mean, he can kill Grimash next turn then with uh, Hunter's Mark, but there's still Extraza roaming around. 
even if she dies, there's still the armor smith roaming around, and he's just getting every armor point he can yep. get. Makes sense. Up to 18 HP versus 23 on the hunter, and well, three big minions, well, two big minions and one annoying minion on the board. Well, he can kill both. Animal companion. Oh, Huffer. He can clear the board and his Huffer will stay alive. He can clear the board and his Huffer will stay alive. That's that's true and he even he can even prevent uh, more and more armoring up if he does the rotation correctly. So he needs to kill the Armorsmith first and then kill the other bows. Still, he loses his kill command. He loses, he loses his everything. Hunter's Mark. He has no cards left and there is only one card in his deck. How are you going to win Vortex? I guess not. Nah. He won't. Maybe maybe it's a King Crush. <laughs> At age age dinosaur. Roar. That would actually be a big threat after <laughs> such a clear, having a freaking 8-8 eight, eight dinosaur roaming around. Uh still it would be. Very unlikely. Uh, extremely un let's put it under the extremely unlikely what? test. Oh, that was, that was smart. That was kind of the only thing he can do to uh, may or maybe not win since with Leroy next turn. He actually has eight damage. That should be Leroy. Uh, uh, it should be Leroy. Well, so he could cleave, but that's not good. You don't, you can't, you can't cleave. You need the armor. Well, yes, sir. Now he has to attack with his two minions to get two extra armor, put down the Black Knight and armor up to go on nine armor and survive everything. And he needs to know there could be a Leroy. And if a Leroy is coming, it's eight damage. And you die if you don't attack with both minions. Get your freaking armor done. But is he going to predict it? Well, at least he, he wants to get one armor. So, one armor done. That hurts. You really don't want to do it. <laughs> it's okay to trade here that. So, he gets two armor. Four up to nine. And nice. Oh. You predicted it perfectly. Well, that's what I would have done if I were in his position. Since... Oh, it's not even Leroy. Where, where did Leroy go? When did I miss did him? When did I miss Leroy? Did he, did he get... Uh, I don't think that he... Did he tracking no, him? No, I don't think so. Oh, Did we miss the Leroy? I'm not sure. Yeah, but the, our, our viewers can't tell here. And it is... It's a Zulok. Yeah, Zulok. Well, we already see a number guy's deck. He oh. played Krakon, but he still has a Brawl. In, in oh. a lot of those mid-rangey versions... We actually don't see broads for the hunter, uh, for the warrior. Would you get rid of both whirlwinds? I would keep one for the early game. But he's getting rid of both whirlwinds uh, since he wants to get a weapon. I expect him. And worst case scenario, he will just oh, coin out. Oh, wow. He will just coin out his bra. No one saw what he got, right? Well, we'll see in a second disaster that hand hurts yep since he got two dead cards with Grimash <laughs> and Alexstrasza until turn one bazillion so that looks not good for him well and Vortex is just throwing out his M&Ms as fast as he can well and now you wish you had at least one whirlwind to maybe kill that abusive sergeant but what you want to have if he puts down his knife juggler is two whirlwinds this is really really painful He's going to slam that minion away. It may have been... Well, nah. He couldn't have waited for turn 4 and then coin Brawl. That's just too much of a <laughs> wave. But he's getting a lot of value of his Brawl by now. I mean, he's taking a lot of damage. But turn 4, he can absolutely coin Brawl. Yes. And, and cross his fingers. He got an execute. I'm still voting for the two... Well wins, plus the execute being actually better than what he has now flying around. Hmm. 
If I had a if I had a whirlwind, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't brawl. I would just whirlwind. You would? Yeah. Now it's only two damage from those ghosts. They don't care. Like I I wouldn't I wouldn't be scared by them. Uh, maybe just play your weapon. Oh, execute cruel taskmaster and coin out your fury war axe. That was a good and nice move yep. from number guy. He cleared a lot with it. He's still down to 16, but nice move. If two or three annoying minions appear now, he can still brawl and kill the leftover minion. Well, there will be more, most likely, Argent Squire and Defender of Argus yep. trade. I think this is going to be a fast match. But the good thing is now I see the brawl value once again. What? So oh, okay. he, he can he can attack or just brawl. But I would consider breaking the shield of the Arch and Squire because with three minions on the board, well, he doesn't need to break the shield. Everything is okay. <laughs> He's still down to 12 HP. Not only down to 12 HP, he has no follow up. So there are two more minions coming. And what do you have? Eight, eight, nine minions. <laughs> that hurts. You really want to have another weapon. You want to have, I don't know. So sometimes, sometimes if you mulligan wrong or if you mulligan not the right cards, you have a problem. I mean, he just mulliganed two whirlwinds and an execute. And what do we see? What happens? He redrew. Grimash and Alexstrasza, he should have just kept that hand with a brawl, be happy with it, and hope to draw into it. He dropped it, we saw what happened, and he's just <laughs> losing now because he's missing his whirlwinds to have more clearing options. It's really painful to watch. Would you go for the Black Knight now or Echolite of Pain and armor up? Because the Echolite of Pain can't really contest anything, but otherwise you will take 5 damage and, and you can't heal up for 2, like or armor up, let's put it that way. I would have gone this play too, I guess. <laughs> now it has actually some value if he drops his Defender of Argus, which he will drop most likely, and go for the Silence. Oh, damn. Well, now, now he can at least get rid of that Timberwolf instantly. Uh, still, he's down to eight. I, j I just see him getting vaporized here, hardcore. Well, ex execute is cool. <laughs> he can, um, he can get rid of the Timberwolf and execute the three-four, for example, and will prevent some damage like that. And he's still. Then he drops down to four. Yeah, he needs a shield block to survive one more turn. Alexstrasza himself up, and then come back with Kermash and Ragnaros. <laughs> Those are his only options, more or less. Um, um. Shield block into Whirlwind would save his ass. I'm just calling it. Let's see if it happens. Calling Soulfire top deck. He's calling Soulfire top deck. Well, that, that, that wouldn't be a surprise since Vortex oh. hasn't drawn oh. any by now. <laughs> Soulfire top deck. Well played here for Vortex. He closes the deal to a 1-1. One -one. So it's 1-1 one -one between Vor Hunter or Rogue. Both oh. are possible picks against Zulok. But I think the, the most obvious one is Hunter, if it's a Sunshine Hunter. If it's a Sunshine Hunter, well, even a full face would be interesting since there are more traps against the Zulok. Well, I would say Timo just presses go here and we see what happens. It's like, a full face Hunter. Well, no, no, no. Both. I, like. I'm sorry. I'm not saying it's a full face Hunter. It could also be a Sunshine with one explosive strap still. Don't don't want to predict too much. An exact same Aww. hand for Vortex. The exact same hand. I'm 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 just want to say this. <laughs> it's the exact same hand. It's really really tough. And you got uh, the you you got the. You you are wrong. No. We already saw Hunter versus uh, Warlock versus. You're sure we I'm, saw Warlock I'm versus Hunter? I'm 100 sure. Yeah. But I, I started match 20. That makes no sense at all, Timo. Yep, I did as well. That's the problem with the files. So what, Guys. What's, what's your excuse now? Well, now I got I got Hunter versus Warrior. Is that correct? Nope. 
Uh, I got hunter versus warlock. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. And now I got the correct one. So let, let's okay. let's just stop it, and then we jump right back into the action. So Timo, <laughs> just try it once again. <laughs> hey. Uh, this this happens quite way too often. Quite way too often. Quite way too often. So we see it's not the exact same hand. I was just uh, going crazy mode, and everyone actually saw where I made the mistake. No problem. Yeah, we we I, I'm special. That's okay. <laughs> special snowflake. My, my mom said I'm special, so <laughs> I'm allowed to do those mistakes. Board control. Stone. Yeah, I would go for board control. You would. Yeah, I would. I would. Who, who would not? You're asking the wrong questions here. And can number Ouch. guy close the deal here with his hunter? Or is he going to have a lot of problems against the one four white walker and he's not getting through to that young priestess? Well he is with an explosive trap, but do you want to waste your explosive trap now? Oh Do I you want to waste your explosive trap now? Yes. Yes? Yes. But if he places Amani Berserker first, he gets a five one Amani Berserker. Oh man. <laughs> it hurts. This is painful to watch. The good thing for Vortex is he has a two mana unleash. So turn three, turn four, he can all he can already go unleash Timo with Stone Tusk Boar. That's quite useful for him. Tracking. He, tracking into Hunter's Mark. He yeah. still needs to go for the trap, in my opinion. Tracking into more Unleash. Yeah, he has to go for the Unleash. So he will just go turn 5, double Unleash, Timber Wolf. <laughs> and it seems to be legit. It's quite a bit of damage. And clear, board clear. If he goes for Stone Tusk Boar now, as uh, Stone Tusk, if he goes for the Explosive Trap now, there would be a charged up Money Berserker, but he could still. Clear the board with Timber with Unleash. That's true. Oh. Uh, he sacrifices his small minion to just deal more and more damage. And there is a Defend of Argus in his hand. It's so annoying. Hmm. He kind of needs to go for Unleash, Timber Wolf, Stone Tusk Boar. <laughs> but that's three minions into that stupid, annoying. Voidwalker. I think can also go for Hyena Unleash and just get a really beasty Hyena. Yeah, but that beasty Hyena might just die to a soul fire, so it's it's too easy to kill in my opinion. It wouldn't. I would say explosive trap. And next turn get six hounds. Or eight. If he plays <laughs> four minions. Just play eight hounds, tumor and, and run him in together with his tumor wolf in the end. Do -do -do -do. Explosive trap in, one minion dead. Ouch. Well, but that's good. Now, one has two, one has three. If he plays an Argus, one has three, one has four. But one, th the Amani Berserker is taunted up now too, so he can actually deal with it. Ah, uh, it's Stampeding Kodo is too late. Well, it's turn five. <laughs> it's still too late. Stop <laughs> Stop bothering me here. Still too late. Uh, question is, Hyena or not? I would go for Hyena. I would go up to four, so that would be quite good for him. Nope. He decides against it. He, he wants to go for the complete board clear. Sad phase that all his minions die for it. But next turn, he can play his Stone Tusk, uh, Stone Tusk Boar. He can play his Kodo to get rid of what's left over. And there's still the second Unleash. Ka -chung, ka -chung. The Knife ka Juggler ka does it work here. Yep, hit the right target. Nim style. Top deck, Explosive Trap. Putting, putting it under much value, such wow. <laughs> Kinda needs it. I mean, he can Unleash again, but he can only kill one minion with those dogs. And that hurts, so well still would go for the play. If he kodos, he may have lost. Since Leroy plus a knife juggle juggle in the face does exactly 13 damage. If he plays Unleash, mm, 
I think he should go for a Hyena Unleash and ping. It hurts, but it seems to be the play you need to do here to stay in the game. Just said Leroy, Origin Squire, and Chariot Sun Cleric. This is this is super strong. A second knife juggler. So he goes knife juggler Leroy juggles two times, maybe hits the face twice. <laughs> A two two times the chance to hit the face. So that should be possible. The annoying thing is Leroy spawns those two small drakes. Well, but what it's is the annoying like thing? Maybe he pings those drakes away. But I would say Vortex will go for the two one here. If he has some luck. I think I would rather go for Leroy Argent Squire. Well I think I think it has a better chance. Well it, it doesn't it matter anymore, he already hit, but I, w I wanna see those strikes getting Woo <laughs> Perfect <laughs> Perfect juggles here from Vortex and he closes the deal <laughs> with a two one for plenty.